All right, everybody, this is going to be a reaction with a copper chloride solution and aluminum metal. So um, you can see in both these test tubes we've got copper chloride solution. Um, hopefully you can tell that it's kind of a green-blue color. And um, so I'm going to have the test tube on the right as a reference to what the color looks like beforehand. Um, from our flame tests, we want to remember that if we see something that has a green or blue color, or even from our copper cycle lab, if you see like a green-blue color in a solution, that uh, we could make a, a good, pretty good hypothesis that it has copper in it. So I'm going to take a piece of aluminum, and the aluminum looks like this. Okay, this is the piece of aluminum we had. You could use aluminum foil as well. All right, I'm just going to drop this in and uh, fairly quickly it starts to react um, and um, we see some looks like some bubbles forming here um, what's actually happening which is pretty interesting is getting very very hot okay so if you were to I'm just gonna hold your hand on the bottom here on the side there um, it gets so hot that you wouldn't want to hold your hand on there for very long okay so um, in one case we might think that uh, we're producing a gas in this reaction, but we are not. We're starting with aluminum metal and copper chloride solution. So copper chloride is C, it's a copper 2 chloride. So copper chloride is CuCl2. And um, so this reaction would actually go on for quite a while. So what I did is that I started another reaction ahead of time, and I'll show you what it looks like towards the end here. Okay. So this is what it looks like here, and you can see that um, the color is significantly uh, different, okay? And it's a lot lighter green. So if I hold this next to and hold these up kind of a before and after, you can see that it's a much, much paler green. And you might be able to tell what color uh, solid we have in there, okay? So we definitely know a chemical change happened here. Um, we have a change in the color and the appearance of that particular solid. And even though it's still reacting, what I can do just to show you what that, an up close picture of what that solid looks like, okay, is uh, I'll pour out the liquid, or decant the liquid, I should say. So now we can see hopefully that this has a nice reddish uh, brown color to it, and you actually made copper. So the copper that was in, in the solution before that gave us that nice green green blue color here is now copper metal so in this reaction we have aluminum metal plus CuCl2 produces aluminum chloride AlCl3 and copper metal Cu okay so you want to think about given that reaction what type of reaction would that be